All right, good morning. Welcome back to those of you who've been here for a few days and welcome to those who are new. You are, in case you missed it, at the Applied Machine Learning Days. This is the fourth edition. Um, these are the wrong slides. I can't really say something about that. You should go back with the slides. Just stick with the AMLD logo, everything will be fine. Um, and uh, just as a reminder what AMLD is, AMLD um, is about the application of machine learning to various domains. So while it's a technology conference, it's not a hardcore technology conference. It's for us extremely important to have this intermix of people who are applying um, the machine learning in their domain. And one of the things that we haven't done yet, this is the fourth time, is we have often left the discussions about the economic impact to the side. Even though, of course, when you open a newspaper, in whichever shape or form you do that um, these days, it's, the, the, it's one of the, the, the driving sort of messages, not about the technology, but it's usually either directly or hidden about the economy in one way or another. And this is why we organized this particular day. And I'm very grateful for the colleagues at UNIL, in particular, Raphael Aliv and Daniel Euge, who have helped put this together. And then also the track organizers um, of the afternoon, which are five tracks that you can see in the program. And so I just want to thank everybody for coming and for making this happen. This is um, something I think that is extremely important. And in the future, I hope to see more of that at AMLD. And with that, I'm now handing it over to Jean-Pierre Dantin, who will introduce the first speaker. Thank you. OK, let me say very few words about the first speaker, but also explain these slides. <laughs> we, uh, uh, we have been uh, uh, joining forces in Lausanne. And you see three logos, the EPFL, the university, which was thanked by Marcel just a minute ago, but also IMD. Uh, in uh, a, a triangle that, uh, uh, for which you see the main words uh, in the slides, the triangle would have, if you want, management on one side, technology on the other, and we are right on the topic again of the introduction, sustainability at the top. And so we have three institutions for a triangle, and we call it uh, the Enterprise for Society Center. Um, yes. So, joining forces, Enterprise for Society Center, Responsible Management, Sustainable Technology. And this is under this umbrella of the non-existing center at the time the ALMD was, was put together that uh, this uh, session is organized. So, a few words about eForest. Uh, we, uh, have a tr we are under the number, number three, really. Three tracks, really, train, inspired, activate, change. And basically, we are going to start a new master's program, Master in Sustainable Management and Technology, jointly offered by the three institutions. This is really a, a premiere. Uh, we will uh, want to activate change, that is, be very uh, user complementarities to uh, strengthen the startup ecosystem in the, in the Lemanic area. And uh, we will, of course, be active at the level of ideas, at the level of research. We will want to produce, collect, disseminate uh, research uh, building on the, on the set of competencies in this institution. We already have 70 researchers uh, involved uh, on, on seven platforms, seven tracks, the uh, Shaping the Future of Work platform being the one under which uh, this session uh, is, is organized. The other one uh, deal with uh, uh, the notion of acceptance of technologies. I think it's another very useful topic when we talk about machine learning, socially inclusive technologies for shared prosperity. Uh, the second one talked about uh, uh, environmental policy, and we would like to make sure that we bring science to bear on the decisions that our society, Switzerland in particular, will be taking that, on that level. Systemic risks, financial, uh, sustain, uh, sustain, uh, sustainable finance, uh, the grand challenges and the role of business firms, uh, detection of leadership from voice and body. Again, we are very close to the topic of, of this conference and the last one towards interpretable machine learning. So this is the, the context. I'm very happy that I have a chance to tell you a few words about this. If you want to know more, go on our website, although it's not there yet. There is something, but it's not operational. We just started. We are brand new, e4society.org. And we are 
very pleased to uh, uh, offer you the possibility to hear and learn from David Otor, who in the topic that we are treating today, the wor work and machine, uh, machine and uh, machine and employment, machine and the future of work, is, is really uh, one of the very top analysts, one of the best recognized uh, researchers. He has been on the topic for as long as the topic has uh, uh, been around, I think, and certainly been that has been aware of it, and, and he has been one of the main contributors. He's fourth professor uh, at MIT, and he's also one of the leaders of this uh, platform, which is a very interesting one, and, and it's quite related to, in fact, the main one of the impulse behind this uh, E4S, E4S society. Uh, what is it called, the platform? I'm sorry, uh, the MIT w Work of the Future Task Force. And maybe you can say a couple of words on that because that's very interesting uh, before you, you get started. But I don't want to take more time. David, please, uh, you have the floor.